When many artists start out with their first managers, they start out at that 20% rate, which is, is fine, right? But as things start to progress later on and more and more fees start to kick in and more and more people join your operation, as the manager should do, you will start to see that fees stack up and your dollar amount starts to dwindle and dwindle down. Well, I got some ways that you could avoid those extreme artist management fees coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. Look, I know, I know, I know those management fees or you're you're afraid of those management fees really ticking up on you, right? You're just getting started and you're like, I don't know. Maybe I passed my, my first goals and things are starting to get a little shaky out here and I don't know where to go, how to get this information. Well, I got you right here. Just hold on. And managers, I'm not asking you out of the picture. So watch today's show. Here we go. Now, the main categories. These are the main categories that your manager will take their percentages from. And the question is, when is it too much? I will go through my suggestions on each one. Shows, royalties, song usages, merchandise, and these new fan club communities that are finally starting to organize here. Now, shows. Management should never get a full percentage from shows that are booked with a booking agent on their behalf. The manager should get the difference. If the agent is 10% and the management fee is 20%, then the manager should get 10%. This way, all fees can stay in check without running wild. As your tours get bigger and a tour manager is needed, then this conversation must be revisited. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, check this out. Your booking agent books. Your manager comes in and says, hey, I need to get 20%. That's 30% off the top. Then the tour, the tour manager, the one that knows the ropes of the tour that you're going on, they've got to get paid too. Sometimes that could be 5%. Sometimes it could be just the, the like the per, per date amount that could add up to around 5%. All right. Then your attorney that closed the deal on the entire tour will get 5% of the money as well. So let's add that up. We got 10, we got 20, that's 30, we got 35, and we got another five on the top. That's 40% of the cash gone. And then we got to pay the band. Some of you all remember when I was doing them shows, breaking them show prices down, right? But what I'm saying is, as your tours get bigger, you got to revisit this conversation. When the manager starts to put other people to work, we got to talk about, hey man, we, we got we to gotta work out these prices. There are a lot of managers out there who do the booking work themselves. Everything's all good. The more people in the pot, we got to work out these numbers. Let's go to the next one. Now, royalties. In my opinion, a manager should never get 20% of your royalties. However, you should settle on a percentage that allows your business manager to take their cut and the manager to split the difference. This is how you're eating. This is the only cash flow that you will get. Let's say if you enter a situation where you get some type of advance, this is the only other cash flow that you can get without anything attached to it. Hopefully you didn't do a publishing deal and you still all ha have your own publishing and you're getting your artist royalties and whatnot. If they're taking money off the top from you, from the royalties, which I don't recommend because they already took money, they took advance money. So you don't want them to double dip. Remember, your advance money that you got on your deal, that was advance royalty payments. So the manager takes 20% of the advance royalty payments and then they're taking 20% of the royalties that are coming in. Like, I, nah, mm-mm, mm-mm. Not a good place to be. Just letting you know. All right, let's go to the next one here. Song usages. In most cases, your licensing agent and or attorney will have to take significant percentages for these, uh, up to 50% from the agent and 5% from the attorney. If you own the master or some publishing, you may have to reduce the manager's percentage by a dollar amount or percentage amount. I think I need to read this one again. Check it out. Okay. In most cases, your licensing agent and or attorney will have to take significant percentages for these, up to 50% from the agent. Stop. Okay. What I'm saying is song usages could be anything. They could be synchronizations. They could be songs and displays. They could be just for like online media or whatnot, where it's not quite a synchronization, but it is. It's like online media is confusing, right? And they pay you an upfront fee, flat, no rights, anything like that. They just want to use the song. Then the agency, the licensing agency may take 50%. Then the manager has to take their cut, the 20% off the, off, the, off the top of what you get. And you see how you start 
just ticking it down. 50% of the money gone and 20% comes out. You know what I mean? 70% of the money's gone now. And now you're left with the 30%. But the attorney had to close the deal, so they got to take 5%. You see how this is, you see where it's going? So if you own the master or some publishing, you may have to reduce the manager's percentage by a dollar amount or a percentage amount. That's what I'm saying here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Merchandise. Now, I'm all for the manager taking a cut out of merchandise on net profits and not gross. Simple as that. Managers go get your coin. All right. Next one. Fan club community. These are on the rise fast as this can generate tons of money for the artist. If the manager is heavily involved in making sure your content is distributed on time and is helping you facilitate the profits, uh, excuse me, process, then fine. If you have a content production or production manager for the position, the manager should split the difference. All right. I, I want to express this to you all. Like I'm, I think you all, like, I, I said the Discord video because Discord combined with Patreon. I don't know if you know that, but then there's Circle and there's Mighty Networks. I'm, look, man, the amount of money that you can make on a fan community is, like, dumb stupid. All right. And you all just have to work together to work these numbers out right here. Okay. So I just want to make you aware of that. Okay. Now to my managers, not bashing you. I love managers. Managers are necessary. I love managers before record labels. What I am saying is this, before managers, before you hire and you delegate tasks, you have to make those deals that are in favor of you and your artist. Because if you make the deal where it's in favor of just getting the business done, then you put your artist at risk of firing you. So everybody has to be, you know, come to the table and agree upon who you're bringing to the table to handle this stuff. Because when you got an upset artist and they out there on the road, nobody's going to be happy. They're not going to be doing a great job. And then you got nothing but problems on your hand. Anyway, book a call with me on musicmoneymakeover.com. Download the free stuff and the paid stuff below. All right. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Everybody, thanks for watching the show. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me to get all your music business questions answered and solved. Thanks for watching.